Hi Lulu, I'm Catherine. I'm gonna be placing your catheter. First, I need to lift up your gown. And I have the Sure Step Foley system tray. The first thing that we do, there's a little packet with some cleaning supplies. So I am going to open up the Castile soap towelettes and place them all out on there. And now I'll clean you. First of all, on the right side, top to bottom and throw it right away. And then on the other side, top to bottom, throw it away. Don't place, I always tell the nurses not to place it back on the sterile field. And down. Now I'll discard that as well as my gloves. And they have a little Purell pack in there to clean the hands before I don my sterile gloves. This says to orient towards the insertion site. And I will open, open, and very carefully open this from to only touching the outside. The next thing is to put on sterile gloves. I recommend that you bring an extra pair of gloves in in case these are too tight or break. Now I'm gonna just turn and do this not on the field there, but on the bedside table. So make sure that when you're putting these on that you're careful not to contaminate. Hold underneath and make sure that you don't contaminate. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna put this down. This is the sterile drape. You wanna put it down with the shiny side down. And I always take it by the corners and put it under so that I don't touch the patient's skin. Then there's a fenestrated drape. Some people don't use that, but for this we will. Okay. Now, this pack, this tells you exactly what to do. There's actually numbers. It says open the iodine. Pour the iodine. Number two. Then, number three, attach the water syringe. So this is the syringe with the water, and you're going to attach it right to the port. Then number four, it says dispense the lube. So we're gonna open this and just squeeze it right into there. These things can go right into the garbage. And then you want to slide, carefully slide, the blue cover off the Foley tip and place this tip right in the lubrication. Also, you can throw that out. Now it's time to insert the Foley. I'm going to open her labia Take the betadine, wash on the right hand side from top to bottom, throw it right in the garbage, not back on your sterile field. The left side, I guess that's her right side, and then down the middle. Okay, Lulu, you're gonna feel a little sting as I put this through, and this is well lubricated, and I'm gonna place this right in her urethra. Now, I want to be careful not to touch my hands to the urethra. Put it in as far as you can. Grab a hold of the water tube, and that's filling up the balloon, and release it. I'm going to gently pull on this just a little bit. Make sure it's in. All right. We can dispose of the drapes. The Foley catheter itself needs to come off the end of the bed. So I'll remove all these things. This is the stat block. This should be placed every time you put a catheter on. And this, um, you can see there's a big side and a little side. 
And so you want to make sure. Sometimes I've seen um, this placed just in like just this where it can still be free floating. There is a larger side and a smaller side. So you want to put it in there and I usually put it on. You can see there's an arrow pointing towards the patient. You have to sometimes twist that little thing around. Now once I get this, you want to put it so that it's not going to be pulling on her. And just place the stat mark. And make sure the urine's flowing. This is going to go off the end of the bed. We want to make sure there's no kinks in the tubing. So this little bed doesn't really have a place to put the Foley. I'm just going to hang it off there for right now. You can also use this to hold it onto the sheet. All right, you don't want her leg on top of the Foley catheter. The next thing we're going to do after every Foley insertion is to use the Provone wipes. One thing I like about the Provone wipes is that the package um, shows exactly what you should do. Now I'm going to change, pretend to change my gloves. You would want it to have clean gloves to do this procedure. And then, again, with these wipes, I recommend opening the package and taking the wipes out and putting them on a clean surface first because it's hard to do once you've started and you've already gotten your hands a little bit dirty. So these are pretty well separated. All right, so um, as it says on the package, you're going to take the first one and go around right at the urethral site and then hold it gently with your clean glove and just pull it down and throw that one away. Don't put it on your sterile field or clean field at this point. And then you're going to do the labia Her left side and now the right side and then with the last two you're going to do the whole groin area left side and right side and then you are done thank you Lulu